Question 1. What hazard should you be aware of when traveling along this street? A. Glare from the sun. B. Lack of road markings. C. Children running out between vehicles. D. Large goods vehicle. The correct answer is C. Children running out between vehicles. Question 2. What's the main hazard you should be aware of when following this cyclist? A. The cyclist may move to the left and dismount. B. The cyclist may swerve into the road. C. The cyclist may get off and push their bicycle. D. The cyclist may wish to turn right at the end of the road. The correct answer is B. The cyclist may swerve into the road. Question 3. A driver's behavior has upset you. How can you get over this incident safely? A. Stop and take a break. B. Shout abusive language. C. Gesture to them with your hand. D. Follow them, flashing your headlights. The correct answer is A. Stop and take a break. Question 4. How should you drive in areas with traffic calming measures? A. At reduced speed. B. At the speed limit. C. In the center of the road. D. With headlights on dipped beam. The correct answer is A. At reduced speed. Question 5. Why should you slow down as you approach this hazard? A. Because of the level crossing. B. Because it's hard to see to the right. C. Because of approaching traffic. D. Because of animal crossing. The correct answer is A. Because of the level crossing. Question 6. Why are place names painted on the road surface? A. To restrict the flow of traffic. B. To warn of oncoming traffic. C. To help you select the correct lane in good time. D. To prevent you from changing lines. The correct answer is C. To help you select the correct lane in good time. Question 7. Some two-ways roads are divided into three lanes. Why are they particularly dangerous? A. Traffic in both directions can use the middle lane to overtake. B. Traffic can travel faster in poor weather conditions. C. Traffic can overtake on the left. D. Traffic uses the middle lane for emergencies only. The correct answer is A. Traffic in both directions can use the middle lane to overtake. Question 8. What type of vehicle uses an amber flashing beacon on a dual carriageway? A. An ambulance. B. A fire engine. C. A doctor on call. D. A tractor. The correct answer is D. A tractor. Question 9. What type of vehicle uses an amber flashing beacon on a dual carriageway? A. 
Go ahead. B. Stop. C. Turn left. D. Turn right. The correct answer is B. Stop. Question 10. Why should you be cautious when going past this bus waiting at a bus stop? A. There's a zebra crossing ahead. B. There are driveways on the left. C. People may cross the road in front of it. D. The road surface will be slippery. The correct answer is C. People may cross the road in front of it. Question 11. Where would it be unsafe to overtake? A. On a single carriageway. B. On the one-way street. C. Approaching a junction. D. Traveling up a long hill. The correct answer is C. Approaching a junction. Question 12. How can drinking alcohol affect your ability to drive? A. Your ability to judge speed will be reduced. B. Your confidence will be reduced. C. Your reactions will be faster. D. Your awareness of danger will be improved. The correct answer is A. Your ability to judge speed will be reduced. Question 13. What does the solid white line at the side of the road indicate? A. Traffic light ahead. B. Edge of the carriageway. C. Footpath on the left. D. Cycle path. The correct answer is B. Edge of the carriageway. Question 14. You are driving towards this level crossing. What would be the first warning of an approaching train? A. Both half barriers down. B. A steady amber light. C. One half barrier down. D. Twin flashing red lights. The correct answer is B. A steady amber light. Question 15. You are behind this cyclist. When the traffic lights change, what should you do? A. Try to move off before the cyclist. B. Allow the cyclist time and room. C. Turn right but give the cyclist room. D. Tap your horn and drive through first. The correct answer is B. Allow the cyclist time and room. Question 16. You intend to turn left at the traffic lights. What should you do just before turning? A. Check your right mirror. B. Move up closer to the car ahead. C. Move out to the right. D. Check for bicycles on your left. The correct answer is D. Check for bicycles on your left. Question 17. Why should you reduce your speed here? A. A staggered junction is ahead. B. A low bridge is ahead. C. The road surface changes ahead. D. The road narrows ahead.
The correct answer is A. A staggered junction is ahead. Question 19. You're driving on a road with several lanes. What do these signs above the lines mean? A. The two right lines are open. B. The two left lines are open. C. Traffic in the left lanes should stop. D. Traffic in the right lanes should stop. The correct answer is B. The two left lines are open. Question 20. You're invited to a pub lunch. What should you do if you know that you'll have to drive in the evening? A. Avoid mixing your alcoholic drinks. B. Don't drink any alcohol at all. C. Have some milk before drinking alcohol. D. Eat a hot meal with your alcoholic drinks. The correct answer is B. Don't drink any alcohol at all. Question 21. What will become more expensive after you've been convicted of driving while unfit through drink or drugs? A. Road fund license. B. Insurance premiums. C. Vehicle test certificate. D. Driving license. The correct answer is B. Insurance premiums. Question 22. What advice should you give to a driver who has had a few alcoholic drinks at a party? A. Have a strong cup of coffee and then drive home. B. Drive home carefully and slowly. C. Go home by public transport. D. Wait a short while and then drive home. The correct answer is C. Go home by public transport. Question 23. What should you do about driving if you've been taking medicine that causes drowsiness? A. Only drive if your journey is necessary. B. Drive on quiet roads. C. Ask someone to come with you. D. Avoid driving and check with your doctor. The correct answer is D. Avoid driving and check with your doctor. Question 24. What should you do if a doctor prescribes drugs that are likely to affect your driving? A. Only drive if someone is with you. B. Avoid driving on motorways. C. Get someone else to drive. D. Never drive at more than 30 miles per hour. The correct answer is C. Get someone else to drive. Question 25. What must you do if your ability to drive is impaired during a period of illness? A. See your doctor each time before you drive. B. Take smaller doses of any medicines. C. Stop driving until you're fit to drive again. D. Take all your medicines with you when you drive. The correct answer is C. Stop driving until you're fit to drive again. Question 26. What should you do if you begin to feel drowsy while you're driving? A. Stop and rest as soon as possible. B. Turn the heater up to keep you warm and comfortable. C. Close the car windows to help you concentrate. 
D. Continue with your journey but drive more slowly. The correct answer is A. Stop and rest as soon as possible. Question 27. What should you do if you become tired while you're driving on a motorway? A. Pull up on the hard shoulder and change drivers. B. Leave the motorway at the next exit and rest. C. Increase your speed and turn up the radio volume. D. Close all your windows and set the heating to warm. The correct answer is B. Leave the motorway at the next exit and rest. Question 28. You're about to drive home. What should you do if you feel very tired and have a severe headache? A. Wait until you're fit and well before driving. B. Drive home, but take tablet for headache. C. Drive home if you can stay awake for the journey. D. Wait for a short time, then drive home slowly. The correct answer is A. Wait until you're fit and well before driving. Question 29. What can you do to help prevent tiredness on a long journey? A. Eat a large meal before driving. B. Take regular refreshments breaks. C. Play loud music in the car. D. Complete the journey without stopping. The correct answer is B. Take regular refreshments breaks. Question 30. You take some cough medicine given to you by a friend. What should you do before driving your car? A. Ask your friend if taking the medicine affected their driving. B. Drink some strong coffee one hour before driving. C. Check the label to see if the medicine will affect your driving. D. Drive a short distance to see if the medicine is affecting your driving. The correct answer is C. Check the label to see if the medicine will affect your driving. Question 31. You're driving on a one-way street. What should you do if you realize you've taken the wrong route? A. Reverse out of the road. B. Turn around in the side road. C. Continue and find another route. D. Reverse into a driveway. The correct answer is C. Continue and find another route. Question 32. What will be a serious distraction while you're driving? A. Looking at road maps. B. Switching on your demister. C. Using your windscreen washers. D. Looking in your door mirror. The correct answer is A. Looking at road maps. Question 33. What should you do if the vehicle starts reversing off the driveway? A. Move to the opposite side of the road. B. Drive through as you have priority. C. Sound your horn and be prepared to stop. D. Speed up and drive through quickly. The correct answer is C. Sound your horn and be prepared to stop. 
Question 34. You've been involved in an argument that's made you feel angry. What should you do before starting your journey? A. Open a window. B. Turn on your radio. C. Have an alcoholic drink. D. Calm down. The correct answer is D. Calm down. Question 35. You're driving on this dual carriageway. Why may you need to slow down? A. There's a broken white line in the center. B. There are solid white lines on either side. C. There are roadworks ahead of you. D. There are no footpaths. The correct answer is C. There are roadworks ahead of you. Question 36. You've just been overtaken by this motorcyclist. What should you do if the rider cuts in sharply? A. Sound the horn. B. Brake firmly. C. Keep the safe gap. D. Flash your lights. The correct answer is C. Keep the safe gap. Question 37. You're about to drive your car. What should you do if you can't find the glasses you need to wear? A. Drive home slowly, keeping to quiet roads. B. Borrow a friend's glasses and use those. C. Drive home at night, so that the lights will help you. D. Find a way of getting home without driving. The correct answer is D. Find a way of getting home without driving. Question 38. How does drinking alcohol affect your driving behavior? A. It improves judgment skills. B. It increases confidence. C. It leads to faster reactions. D. It increases concentration. The correct answer is B. It increases confidence. Question 39. Why should you check the information leaflet before taking any medicine? A. Drug companies want customer feedback on their products. B. You may have to let your insurance company know about the medicine. C. Some types of medicine can affect your ability to drive safely. D. The medicine you take might affect your hearing. The correct answer is C. Some types of medicine can affect your ability to drive safely. Question 40. You need glasses to read a vehicle number plate at the required distance. When must you wear them? A. Only in bad weather conditions. B. Whenever you're driving. C. When you think it's necessary. D. Only at night time. The correct answer is. B. Whenever you're driving. Question 41. Which type of glasses would make driving at night more difficult? A. Half moon. B. Round. C. Bifocal. D. Tinted. The correct answer is D. 
D. Tinted. Question 42. What can seriously reduce your ability to concentrate? A. Drugs. B. Busy roads. C. Tinted windows. D. Weather conditions. The correct answer is A. Drugs. Question 43. What must you do if your eyesight has become very poor and you're no longer able to meet the driver's eyesight requirements? A. Tell the driver licensing authority. B. Tell your doctor. C. Tell the police. D. Tell your optician. The correct answer is A. Tell the driver licensing authority. Question 44. When should you use hazard warning lights? A. When you're double parked on a two-way road. B. When your direction indicators aren't working. C. When warning oncoming traffic that you intend to stop. D. When your vehicle has broken down and is causing an obstruction. The correct answer is D. When your vehicle has broken down and is causing an obstruction. Question 45. You want to turn left at this junction. What should you do if your view of the main road is restricted? A. Stay well back and wait to see if anything comes. B. Build up your speed so that you can emerge quickly. C. Stop and apply the parking brake even if the road is clear. D. Approach slowly and edge out until you can see more clearly. The correct answer is D. Approach slowly and edge out until you can see more clearly. Question 46. You're driving a car fitted with automatic transmission. When would you use kick down? A. To engage cruise control. B. To accelerate quickly. C. To brake progressively. D. To improve fuel economy. The correct answer is B. To accelerate quickly. Question 46. You're driving a car fitted with automatic transmission. When would you use kick down? A. To engage cruise control. B. To accelerate quickly. C. To brake progressively. D. To improve fuel economy. The correct answer is B. To accelerate quickly. Question 47. What should you do if it's raining and you're following this lorry on a motorway? A. Allow a two-second separation gap. B. Switch your headlights onto main beam. C. Move into a lane that has less spray. D. Be aware of spray reducing your vision. The correct answer is D. Be aware of spray reducing your vision. Question 48. You're driving towards this left-hand bend. What danger should you be anticipating? A. A vehicle overtaking you. B. Mud on the road. C. The road getting narrower. D. Pedestrians walking towards you.
The correct answer is D. Pedestrians walking towards you. Question 49. What should you do if the traffic in the left-hand lane is slowing? A. Slow down, keeping a safe separation distance. B. Accelerate past the vehicles in the left-hand lane. C. Pull up on the left-hand verge. D. Move across and continue in the right-hand lane. The correct answer is A. Slow down, keeping a safe separation distance. Question 50. When may you use hazard warning lights? A. When driving on a motorway to warn traffic behind of a hazard ahead. B. When you're double parked on a two-way road. C. When your direction indicators aren't working. D. When warning oncoming traffic that you intend to stop. The correct answer is A. When driving on a motorway to warn traffic behind of a hazard ahead.